Okay. Um, all right. Here we go. And we're going to finish this sucker up. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to go down here. And I'm going to move all the way down to the reload gun um, function. Okay, now in this reload gun function, what I had was we pass it a variable and um, basically a boolean, a one or a zero, or a true or a false. And if it's um, false, then we had this gun interval, and the gun will turn on, gun on after 750 ticks. Else, we we're going to do this. Well, through trial and error, things not working, I realized that this wasn't working so well. So um, to fix it, it's going to be like this we're going to get rid of this curly brace and this else statement okay and then I'm going to need to remove the curly brace right here okay since I removed that one I need to remove this one okay and then I'm going to slide this over alright I'll move that line and then the for statement the for loop and then I can move this um, no, I like that curly brace there, the four and then the curly brace, and then back, 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 all right, and back. So you've got a for loop right here, all right, open curly brace, close curly brace, right? We didn't do anything. What we did was we got rid of the else, all right? We got rid of the else. And so now, if this is false, we will run this, but anytime we hit reload gun, we go gun off first. We check to see if it's false. If if it's false, we do this. If not, we always we always always do this. Okay. So that's the change in the code. Is that before, if this was false, we just ran the gun interval, and we didn't run all of this. But now, since I got rid of the else statement, if it's false, we'll run this. But we will always also run this. Whether it's false or true won't matter. We're going to run the stuff because it's not in an if, it's not in a conditional statement. Okay, so that's the first thing. All right, and then, um, and that, I just had some troubleshooting, and, um, and that's what I had to uh, do to make it work. So then I'm going to go down here and down to the last function. We're getting close here. Um, I'm going to comment out the trace hit, and we're actually going to do something now. So instead of trace hit, what we're going to do is we're going to say our target movie clip, our little duck, target dot go to and um, play frame two. Okay? And um, all right, so that's what we're going to do there. Then, since we shot the target, score plus plus, which will add one to our score. And then, um, then we're going to hit our scoreboard movie clip, scoreboard underscore MC, which is on the stage, and dot, we're going to go inside of it and look for score underscore TXT dot text and set it equal to score. Okay, and that will, so we increment our score variable and then we um, take our text box, our dynamic text box inside the scoreboard movie clip and we set it equal to score. Okay, now what about this target dot go to and play to? Well, what is that about? Well, we have to now have a we have to change our target. So if I go here into my library and I go to the target movie clip, I'm going to double click on it and I'll close that and you'll see there it is. Let me see if I can scroll this up here. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, add another keyframe here, F6 to add a keyframe here, and then I'm going to group the duck. So Control G to group it. So now I've got it grouped. And what I'm going to do is let's say um, we hit, we, we're here, right? We shoot the duck. First thing we're going to do is on frame two, uh, and you know what? I'm going to put another on frame. Let's see three. Frame 3, I'll hit F6 also. So now I've got a keyframe on 2 and a keyframe on 3. So on frame 2, what's going to happen is when we shoot the duck, the first thing the duck's going to do is jump up. So I'm going to move him up, let's say, 6 pixels, right, using my, my um, 
arrows on my keyboard, he's going he's gonna to jump up like, bing, we shot him, right? And then back here on 3, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my transform tool and I'm going to uh, bend him over and then I'm going to squash him, right? And so we, we shoot him and then he flips, he falls down, right? Like a target, all right? And that would be kind of what we would do, let's say, something like that. In your game, if you want to do an animation here, it's a good time to do a whole animation, like a death sequence for your character. Maybe he blows up, or maybe he, um, you know, vaporizes, or whatever. You know, however your shooter game is going to be. But for me, I'm envisioning this like a duck, and you shoot the duck, and, the, and then it falls over, right? Kind of like jumps up and then falls over. Okay. And what I need to do now is make a new layer and put a stop action here. Okay. And then over here I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy that stop action, copy frame, and then I'm gonna right click here and paste frame. So so now when I shoot him he's gonna he's gonna fall over. Okay? So that's that. Alright. We'll finish this I'm thinking I'm gonna stop this movie and come back in the next one.